Hello, my name is Alta B. Ewing, and I am a genetic counselor. I was born and raised in Pulaski, Tennessee, which is a small rural area in Tennessee. I grew up in a very loving and supportive environment, but I also grew up in a space where there were not a lot of people who looked like me in my classroom setting, as well as in various community spaces in which I, I existed. So when it came time for me to consider various colleges, I just knew I was going to a historically Black college and university at HBCU. And I sent my housing deposit to Fisk University, but actually ended up going to Rhodes College, which is the complete opposite of an HBCU. And although Rhodes was a phenomenal experience, it left me yearning for an environment where I knew that I could better connect with individuals and receive the type of support that I truly desired. So I graduated from Rhodes, went on to teach middle school science for two years, and then it came time for me to decide where I would go for graduate school. So again, having that desire to go to an HBCU, there was no question in my mind that Howard University was the best fit for me, especially once I learned it had a genetic counseling program. And as I did my research, I learned more about Howard's legacy in terms of uplifting the community, really ensuring that underserved populations were better served in medicine and that underrepresented populations had a seat at the table and were represented in the science. I graduated from Howard University, but Howard afforded me an opportunity to go into a specialty that allowed me to operate in purpose and passion. And that specialty is cancer health disparities and health equity. And I really say at the end of the day that my specialty chose me. Um, and that's because it, again, afforded an opportunity for me to operate in purpose, to truly be impassioned about the work that I was doing, the populations that I had the opportunity to serve day in and day out, and truly feel as if I was living a, a life, a fulfilled mission where I was able to offer something to the world that the world truly needed. My day-to-day -day job as a senior science lead and health equity scientist at Genentech allows me to help influence the, the health equity strategy at the company. We are working diligently to ensure that we're embedding health equity in every process, in every research idea, and even in every clinical trial that is implemented. We are empowering individuals to realize that we all have a role to play when it comes to advancing health equity. What I really like about my specialty of health equity is that Again, it gives everyone the opportunity to play a significant role in helping us to deliver on the mission of health equity. There's currently a lot of momentum in this space, and there's a lot of enthusiasm where people are feeling empowered and are able to step up and courageously engage in research in a way that they never have in the past, and even to change their mindset to think about questions and problems a little bit differently in a way that it benefits more people. And this is what I really like about my specialty. I know that we are at a great turning point and I know that it's only going to get better from here. When it comes to the genetics workforce, when it comes to genetics research, it's critically important that people from underrepresented walks of life and underrepresented populations are present and are given that space. Um, to operate and to excel. We know that there are certain groups that are underrepresented in research. And as a result, sometimes the medical advancements and the scientific breakthroughs are not as relevant for those populations. And the only way that we are going to change that is to make sure that we include as many people as possible early upstream in that research process. And it's also important that individuals who are engaging in research as participants that they see people who look like them um, operating as researchers, operating as clinicians, and operating as advocates. That is the way that we will truly ensure that we are optimally serving all populations and, again, ensure that the breakthroughs um, that are ensuing will truly be beneficial to all populations. So for those of you who are seriously considering the profession of genetic counseling, I commend you for 
making a great decision and in considering a phenomenal profession. I want to affirm you that when you get here, you will make a difference. And when you get here, you will be supported. I truly believe in sharing my experience with those who are coming behind me because I want your journey to be so much easier and so much smoother than mine. And there are so many others like that in this space too, from the Minority Genetics Professional Network, the Golden Initiative, and the National Society of Genetic Counselors. We are creating a more just, equitable, diverse, and inclusive inclusive environment where all people will be able to make a tremendous impact and all people will thrive. So I look forward to greeting you as my colleague one day. And if you have any questions, you're always more than welcome to reach out to me. Thank you.